Losing, uh, losing Tiana to a couple of out in the ether, kind of a, not really aware red dragonborn who attacked. Uh, they knocked her out and dragged her into the Zagat. After she betrayed me. You abandoned her and left her and went into the forest and began carving a lot of trees on your way trying to find the horn that you were blowing. You decided to blow the horn in different locations as you started hearing random uh, noises that were mimicking familiar sounds from you. You did not like it at all. No. I was very aware that you did not like it. <laughs> nope. Was I clear? Nope. Yeah. nope. You ended up finding your way and uh, giving away your position and being uh, captured by the Vegapigmies, taken to their uh, general living area. You found that there were two that were more in charge. One was sick, who ended up passing away in front of you. Uh, you left that area and continued to find your friends who had fled further west, where you discovered a well that upon uh, leaving further and running into these bird-like creatures that could only speak in mimicry of what you are saying, you decided to follow them back to this place that was kind of beckoning to Dakar, where you then released uh, Zerafina, who has been trapped at this well. Dakar, you've released her using uh, your blood that somehow miraculously cured and set, set her free. And then after exchanging a little bit of interpretive niceties, you would depart from her and begin leaving, going more towards the north to head closer towards your destination of Putin's Point. Are there any questions before we begin? So you find yourself, the three of you, it is still early in the day as you make your way further journeying, journeying through more woods but following the tree line <gasps> between the lake and the trees. Heading towards those overall arching uh, mountain areas, remember it's not like a mountain chain like the Rockies, it's not a humongous mountain chain but it's a very different change in elevation from where you are. The water itself begins to move ever faster as you start noticing that you're following now the lake line, or the the river line of the river Plastos that flows into Lake Plastos. The trees themselves begin to break away and fall behind you, and you now see that you are still probably a few days journey away from hitting the mountains themselves, but you are now along the river line. Like past the lake? Or next. I would say we're like right here. Yeah, probably. past lake. Like at the mouth. Yeah. You can still see the lake. You're just starting to find where the water itself is picking up faster and flowing into the lake itself. So it's flowing you south. You are here. Yeah. So, at this point, I'll let you take over. Let's shop. Well, there are no stores. Sir, oh. I know that. Outlets much. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what about the outlets right here, Calvis? These, these are discount stores. No. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, cute. Like, I don't, shop discount. I don't want a Fendi, not a Bendy. <laughs> no, I want the real stuff, just used. Um, well, this should be easier to find our way. This should make it easier. So I think if we just keep following this, we should be good. But also... Can you stop for a moment? Nope. It's cool. Oh yeah, no, we're moving on. Oh no. <laughs> Um, I poured that, out, that I poured out a- That was texting me at Y101, I'm like, nope, nope. <laughs> I poured out a little bit of water for my water skin, so I'm gonna fill it up at the river. Okay. It's very fast moving. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and uh, oh, do a strength check. Okay. As oh, you God. wade into the water, I get to the edge of the water, but it's, it is a moving How about I pull river. the back of you? I think that's a great <laughs> idea, right, thank you. advantage. I'm gonna touch Kelness and Q and be like, what are you doing? Fill up that water like you mean it. And I'm like, has guidance. Okay, so add a d4 to your number. Okay. <laughs> so add advantage and add a d4. That the was most, cocked. You're welcome. The most tactical <laughs> use you've ever done <laughs> on filling up a water skin. 14. 14, yeah. So holding on to it, yeah, you get out in the water and you feel that push of the heavy current getting you, but your friend holds you and you kind of. Feel like it's fully, like, fully looking <laughs> at you. Like you clog it itself and then are dragged back out, drenched, 
Yeah. Clothes sopping. I feel like we should come back here and open a slurbon. What's a slurbon? It's the hottest, coolest time in Lakota. <laughs> well, Lakota's on the other side. Yeah. In Edward Isle. Well, but like the water will eventually. Oh. oh no, it just goes to the lake. Never mind. I mean, we can make you go to Lakota. You're gonna take the time to Let do it. Let me add to my list. Let's Give buy a shovel for Keldis and a send her river. Aqueducts to fire ducks. That's what we need. <laughs> Our quest is over. We're starting our own business. Through the dead woods? Yes. yes. It's haunted. Haunted is not the right word. It oh. just, it just is different. It's magical. I wouldn't even say magical is the right word. It just is very different. It has its own rules. Yeah, that's it. Because, I mean, the whole time we've been here, I haven't seen that much magic. I mean, the closest thing I've seen to magic is the Dirafina thing at the well. And I've also seen magic stuff at other places. But, so. Should we just keep walking? Yeah, I, I think we're, it's a good idea. Okay. Make your way forward and continue walking down. Uh, it's another few hours as you travel. I need whoever's leaving to make a perception check. I'll say, uh... Actually, make a survival check first to see if you're going the right direction. What do you think? Oh, are you or me leaving? You're right. Together? Together. Together. I'm a high five cue and be like, keep your eyes peeled. Yeah. And cast guidance. <laughs> Okay. okay, so you stop to do a little survey of the land. Okay. Which one am I doing first? Survival first. 24. So, yeah, you get yourself pretty much knowing that eventually you're going to have to find some way to embark through the river or mm -hmm. to find some kind of bridge that takes you over to get to the capital side. That way you can make it to uh, Potent's Point. Okay. So following the river is your safest bet, but you also keep an eye out of where the mountain lines are to give yourself an open area to see if someone is coming. Okay. You do notice coming up in the distance, there is a small, uh, it's not really a, it's not really a horse drawn carriage, but it's a small, uh, almost like a peasant's cart that's being drawn by a creature that's up ahead about maybe 200 yards up in the, in the distance and it seems to come to a stop and there is a couple of lumps on the ground that are just laying flat. Was it previously moving when I saw it? No. Okay. You're seeing it right now and it's up in the distance. You see. Okay. Looking out, there's somebody up ahead. Can we avoid it by crossing the boat? Just kidding. <laughs> if you take the chicken, I'll keep the fox. Thank you, can have no. no. The scorpion will sting the swine. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I tell y'all, there's a cart, but like it, there's something in it, but I'm not sure what it is. Um, so I guess the moon. Yeah. Are we are we crossing this bridge? There's no bridge. That's a river. Oh. We're following the river north. Yes. We'll yes. have to cross it eventually. Okay. Got it. So just. Did you see a bridge? No. Okay. I didn't hear you see a bridge, but no. I also was <laughs> updating our to-do list. <laughs> I also was getting ready to like make note of something that I s would see, and I think I distracted myself. So I don't think I saw a bridge. You did not. <laughs> yeah, you did not see a bridge. <laughs> there's a cart up ahead. Yes, there's a cart. That stopped. Some kind of beast is pulling it. I heard that part. And there are and there are two lumps. lumps on the ground. Lumps. It's a lumpy cart. Lumps. And lumps on the ground. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're too far away to tell what it is. That's the main thing. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get closer. It's, I'm sure it's something... It's something good. Nefarious. No. It always is, Dakar. With us. 
<laughs> it just seems to follow us. It's Come on, Jenny. No, it's gotta be good. It's gotta be good. Fair. There's nothing yeah. foul up ahead. All right, just walking forward and continuing forward as you get closer, you do notice that it is a fallen body of a dwarven male that is laying in a full plate armor. And you can, he is, from the general looks, either incapacitated, drunk, unconscious, or dead. He seems very knocked out. However, in the back of the cart, you see sacks and sacks of uh, piles of something that are stacked on this cart that is heavily weighed down. Is he okay? Should we go check on him? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna check on him. Make sure. Is he breathing? I don't know. I'm about to check. All right, so you're up to the uh, running up to the man himself. Uh, go ahead and do a medicine check. Can while she's checking on the man, can I check on the lumps that are on the ground? He is the lump on the ground. Oh, okay. yeah. Is it just the one lump? <laughs> well, I think. Might be yeah. a few lumps. He's he's lumpy. He's a lumpy guy. All the lady lumps. Twenty one. Twenty one. Mm-hmm. He is deceased. <gasps> Guys, I'm not touch him there, there's flies like in yeah. his. He's not that deceased. Inside of his mouth. Is he in pieces? So, no. I saw Devil's Backbone. It happens fast. <laughs> <laughs> so he is deceased. Uh, you checking like you check for his pulse. There is nothing there. There's no breathing. It looks like he's recently deceased himself. It's also the body is laying in a way that almost seems like he has fallen off of the cart itself and it's tipped over. He's laying almost legs where they're kind of bent up on the side wheel where he must have fallen out of the cart at some point. And then in his back is a single dagger. Somebody did this to him. He did not do this to himself. No, and it he doesn't look like it was exhaustion. I'm gonna, can I take the dagger and look at it? I'm going to take the dagger. So you grab onto the dagger and you do a strength check as you pull it out of his back. An advantage? Shower kitchen. 17. 17, yeah. So it does slide. It almost feels like there's something in there that's keeping it in place. It's serrated! And you rip it through and it is. It's a serrated blade all the way across. As you rip it out, it is a really oddly shaped curve to the dagger itself. But it is a very beautiful, beautiful piece of, of work. And as soon as you pull it out, you hear this and you look over and where the horse would be is a rather large creature that is still attached to the cart itself, but it's not a horse. It's oddly scalar and looks a lot like your scales if they were magnified a few times over. It doesn't look really alive. It almost looks mechanical as this dragon-like creature begins to turn and it looks over at you. And you see its eyes begin to glow a little bit brighter and you see its mouth begin to glow white. Let's roll for an issue. It's gonna back up a little bit. <laughs> what? You know, I thought we'd just jump right into it today. None of this <laughs> RP shit. We're gonna go right in. That's that's <laughs> Bosque's work. Please stop talking. Yeah. <laughs> Please make a decision. Woohoo! Damn it! <laughs> Whoa. So I don't have dragon dragons. So we're gonna have to deal with it. We're gonna put one there. Alrighty. I don't have 
what I need. Target. So to give you a little, uh, so this over here is the riverside. Okay. So I'm gonna put that right there, just okay. so you know, this is river. Starting. Just where the, the line okay. is. Okay. Yeah. So rivers, mountains, woods. Oh. And what is the creature? This is the yeah, the dragon. Ooh. All righty, the car. Car. Oh, to give you a little bit of heads up, this is a black skill creature, which is why it was so hard to tell what it actually was. Seeing this monstrous creature, and like how disgusting it is, I'm Excuse going. Excuse me. Not, not you. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this monster. You shouldn't judge him. It's how he looks. I'm going to cast infestation. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ah. The end says. <laughs> <laughs> All right, read your invitation. So just just this cloud of, of mites and fleas and and bugs and crap appear around it, and I needed to make a con fourteen saving throw. You know what? It's gonna, it's gonna fail. Yes. I need a twelve. So it takes six. Damage. Yeah, um, is it just regular damage? Poison damage. <laughs> oh, is there regular damage? And <laughs> do you do regular damage? I roll a d4 and it moves five feet in a random direction. Okay. It moves five feet west. West. Okay. So it's gonna Never turn that way. Okay, but the card begins to turn as well. And with my bonus action. Yeah, it's attached to the bar. That makes sense. <laughs> bonus action, bonus action, bonus action, bonus action. With my bonus action, I'm gonna do nothing. Yeah. It's my turn. As you send out, you point your staff and the bird beak opens up and all these like maggots and flies swarm out of it and go straight for the creature and like mummy style it and just cover it, it seems to aggravate it as it begins to move. It doesn't do a lot, but you hear this <laughs> come up from behind you as a blue dragon-like creature, not really a dragon, whatever this thing is, flies up <laughs> and it's gonna land right behind you. And it is his turn. He's gonna make two attacks, one with a bite and one with its tail. First one, bite attack against you, Dakar. That is gonna be a 20 to hit. That all barely hit. Doing, oh, max damage. 11 points of piercing damage. As he bites into you, you pull away and you let go, and as you go, he spins around and his tail comes to whack oh, right at you. Natural one on the die. That barely misses. Do I need to go in? No. Give him another shot. No. Why is the bottle in here? No, 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 no. Because we don't want to have ten shots today. Shoppy will be so I fun mean, later. I just got the okay. I, I don't want to. Alright, so yeah, so shot. you, you missed the tell spot. At which point, Kelnis, you hear this in the water next to you. <gasps> what the fuck? I thought it was gonna be easy. No. As a green one jumps out of the water oh, shit. and lands on that side. It's gonna make its way to you. It will get in range. It gets its two attacks as well, so a bite and then a tail. A bite first. That is 16 to hit. Yeah. That is six points of piercing, not reduced. The tail comes at you. That is a miss with a two. As it swings at you and you kind of pull back when the tail swings and barely hits your ankle, but it doesn't do any damage. Q. It's my turn? It is. You rolled higher than I did. I think I did. I rolled a seven. 
Oh, no, never mind. I rolled a 10. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, Q is going to go after the first one that we saw. Okay. He's going to step forward up here. Mm-hmm. Which has not had its turn yet. Correct? Yeah. No. All right. Um, 25 shots. Shot. 25 will hit. You rolled a one, though. You got your shot. No. No. That doesn't count. It's advantage. It's advantage. <laughs> Fourteen plus times two. Oh, times two. Because it's an automatic crit. Because he hasn't taken a chance. Yes, twenty-eight, 28 plus six. Thirty-two. Thirty-four. 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 Shit! Yeah, you destroy that thing. It's still up there. Um, and then I'm going to use my bonus action to disengage and. I'm gonna try to go over the cart to go right here. All right, go ahead and do either a strength or an acrobatic check. Nineteen. Yeah. Easy. Easy. And crouch down. Okay. That's my turn. So when you hit, this is his turn. Excuse me. First attack is a natural twenty as he rips and breaks away with his tail, and he's gonna come over and get in range with you. Okay. He's gonna make his bite attack. That is gonna be a fifteen to hit. Nope. Is a miss, so you're good to go. Thomas. Last in the order. <laughs> oh. Look at all these things. What's that for? Uh, my babies. <laughs> <laughs> these are what the scales were from. These are my gifts. <laughs> what's what's this for? That's for your infestation. Oh, okay. Does it stay on my mortar, is it? No, that's what oh. I was gonna say. It's just poison damage. She's not poison. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and that's just if he fails, it's that random movement. Okay, it's it. okay, this is when I get to say, excuse me. And I'm going to turn around and uh, go into a rage. Okay. And with my bonus action, I want to hit the green guy with my lightning. All right. It's a 16 for him to save, so he's going to save. Half damage. And then I would like to try and smack him with my battle axe, please. Oh! 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 Who does a shot? No! Uh. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm ready. No, I'm ready. No. I love your liver. <laughs> you go for me that shot. Okay, yes. Okay. Oh, no, I'll pull the shot. Okay. Don't I guess you ever bring it all in here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever put me in a corner? <laughs> no one put baby you in not a corner. To. Okay, but I also don't know. So you're gonna roll your dice for your damage. Okay. And you're gonna double it and then add all your extra. Huh. Well, yeah. Plus anything else? That is plus. Plus your rage, plus your all that stuff? What's your roll? Three. Oh, okay. Twelve is still good. Twelve is wonderful. It's hard to pour. It's a, that's a, did you see the other cup in there? It needs a there? funnel. Okay. You need a jigger. Um, yeah. I'm going to hit him again with my battle axe, hopefully. <laughs> okay, go for it. <laughs> you get yeah, that's great. I'll drive you home. We did you cry tomorrow before no got us. I already called Chris. Already called Chris. He, knows, he knows where I'm at. He knows what's happening. <laughs> Roll better than a three this time, though. Roll your damage. Do you know who I'm talking to? Nice. Do you know who <laughs> you know, slow down with a 20. <laughs> we should probably take turns. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. A one. How much damage is that? Still more than I can do. <laughs> That's not true. Well, with an attack, yes, it is. 
11 dagger damage. 8 damage. 8 damage. Off my Alright, anything else you'd like? Uh, you have your movement left. in front of me. I'm going to shoot the bird. And, oh my God. and step back and just poof out of existence. Wait and I'm going to uh, I'm going to face step um, let me see five, ten, five, ten. like here. Okay. Yeah. Because is it where I well hold on let me see. Is it where I Face step from or face step to that they make the. What well, are you doing? So, both an accident, you. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Immediately after your face step, up to two so creatures. Over here. Okay. Immediately after. So, let me go. They're not within two feet of each other, no, are they? No. These two guys? No. Like, I couldn't split the difference. No. Okay. But he is within 10 feet of me now. Yeah. Okay. Did you really ask if that one was within 10 feet of you? No, no, I'm saying if, if I like split oh, the difference, if they were both, yeah, if there's a spot where they both <laughs> oh, here. Here. I think he's in range. <laughs> it's meters, meters, or feet. What are, what are we really looking it's at? Is metric or imperial? <laughs> <laughs> Druids use metric, I'm sorry. <laughs> the conversions. Because that's also on all the sides of school. So what happens to them? Um, it needs to make. A wisdom saving throw would be charmed by me for one minute. Wisdom save? Mm -hmm. 15. Oh. It saves. What would have happened if it was charmed? It would not be hostile towards me or my friends for a minute. It would chill out for a little bit. Yeah. You'd laugh at your jokes. Uh. Oh, the car. And it's, it's in contact with Q, right? It's engaged with you. Yeah. So I'll use my movements to come up here and uh, look at all Bram Stokerish. Like my my nails will just get long and my teeth will roll out. Um, I use uh, primal savagery and just try and gnaw into. It. Yeah, I'm gonna gnaw yeah. into this thing. So you ca uh, you're using your bonus action to cast primal savagery and then you're attacking. Uh, no, the face step is a bonus action. Okay. Yes, and then my action is a primal savagery. Alright, so go ahead and... Now, does it say that your primal savagery is an attack, or does it say you get your primal savagery and then your next attack? You channel primal magic to cause your teeth and fingers to sharpen, ready to level, deliver a corrosive attack. Make a melee spell attack against one creature. Yeah, so go ahead and roll. Yeah. <laughs> 16! 16 on the blue? Yes. It's a hit. <laughs> 13 damage. You're a terrifying 13 necrotic damage. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you dig into it and rip off it and it just melts away one of the scales that falls off. Looking into it, underneath the scale itself, you see a metallic creature. So the scale itself falls off, it's not a real life creature. And then it attacks you. That bitch! So it's gonna give you the bite, it's gonna give you the tail. Okay. Bite. First, that's gonna be a miss at 10. Tail. That's gonna be an 18. Yep. Doing 1d6 damage. Plus three, that's eight bludgeoning damage as the tail whacks into you and you hear a big thud on your temple. Did we long rest? No. No, you did not. Okay. You do have two standard healing potions. So okay. No, that's fine. I just didn't know. No, we didn't. Okay. The green one itself? 
pulls around on this side, and it actually jumps up on the cart. And it's going to make its two attacks against the white and tell. First one bite. It's going to be a 23 to hit. That's 10, reduced to 5. Second one, tail. It is only a 10, so it's a miss. Q. Uh, Q is going to attack the one that attacked her. Sure. So it's attacked the blue drake. Yeah. Uh, 25. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. You have sneak attack on this? Yes. Oh, and it should, be, should it be an advantage because you're flanking with the car? Yes, I will. Oh, yeah. 14. Yeah. Wait, two. two. Well, you found the real basket. 28 damage. Holy oh, crap. crap! That was a really good yeah. roll. Yeah, that was. Five, five, five. five eight, four. Yeah, that's how I should yeah. do it. Yes, <laughs> that's maximum effort. <laughs> Anything else you want to do? It's a dice. Um, <laughs> Trust me, I know. That's, that's going to be it. I'm going to stay right there. All right, that's going to take us to the Black Drake. Oh, fuck, that thing's still up? Yeah. Damn, mm-hmm. Q. I am so sorry. I did the Blue Drake on your turn. I should not have. So that was actually the Black, or the Blue Drake shouldn't have done those. So I'll save that for its next turn. The damage already did, and we'll skip his turn the next turn. Okay. The black drake. So this one, blue drake, will move up. We'll get right there. Can't really do an attack, but I'll roll for the... You hit the black drake, though, right? I hit the black one. Yeah, I've been yeah. taking off the right one, but I was on yeah. the wrong one for attacks. So for the blue, blue drake, black, green. green. Yeah. Yeah. So then this one can't attack, and that'll even it out. So, tell. Okay. I am going to use my bonus action to try and hit the green three. Okay. With the light. It's a Oh. One. Damage is damage. No, add, add, what? It's just it's the light. Oh, it's the light. light. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm really grouchy about that, so I'm going to try and hit him with the battle axe. <gasps> and that's an uh, 18 to hit. So 20 foot cube, 5, 10, 15, 20. It's going to be... 4 by 4. That's 16. 5 by 5. 25. That's 25. So, so there, there's, like, if I put it here, it could hit... It's not 4 times 4. It's, each square is 5. I got you. Sorry, my bad. You're good. So call it, I call it catch two of them. Sure. Just place it in the right place. Well, no, if, it, if it's here, it's 5'10", or is it 5'10"? 
you pick where you want it. I'm not going to tell you at all. Where are you going to put it? Draw me four across and four in a different direction. That's all I want. All right. Fuck me up the car. <laughs> Math is hard. You can do it. One, two, three, four. Across this way. Okay. And then which direction? And then one, two, three, four. All right. So it's going to hit you as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. So it's going to hit both of you mm -hmm. as well. But it'll hit all three of them. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm going to cast Fairy Fire. Which <laughs> 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 I've been waiting! <laughs> Just hit Yes. So as the lights begin to fall and flicker and everybody becomes illuminated in that range, you now see everything around you clear except for uh, for Kelmis who's just a little duller than everything else. <laughs> well, they, they have deck saves. Deck 14 saves, saves yeah. Uh, we'll go for, uh, let's do green first. Green is a, is a success. We'll do blue next. That's the one that's over here. Blue's a fail. Yes. And then black is a fail as well. Yes. So you have an advantage against these two, disadvantage against or not just dance, but regular. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Dakar? Um. Yes. I'm going to use my movements to come around this way. Okay. And I'm going to use my bonus action to. Cast a little Dr. Feel good on myself and do some uh, Balm of the Summer Court. Okay. With Dose Dies. Okay. And that's my turn. The blue one is going to charge. As it passes by, it's going to make a swipe with a with its mouth and its tail at you, Dakar. So we'll do the bite first. That is going to be a 13 hit. Misses. With a tail. It's also going to be a miss. And then it's going to continue running. You may take an attack of opportunity if you want. It's like run to the water? Yep. Oh, fuck yeah, I'll take it off to the attack. And it's going to jump in the water. Um, yeah. The one came out of the water. Oh. I guess it was. Never mind then. <laughs> that was waterproof. The other one. Oh, bitch, we're on fire! <laughs> <laughs> He's taking it! We'll do break shots. We'll do break shots. Keep yeah. going. But I'm also an advantage. No. No, my god, I forgot that. You can cut me. <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's burst out that motherfucker. Go! <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two plus three. Five. All right. Tell me, tell yeah. me. You see it as it's running and you, you jut your, your staff out and just kind of pop it on its knee for a little bit and you see it kind of have a, like a wonky step as it tumbles into the water and You're gonna feel that tomorrow! Just Tom Swift again. <laughs> Alright, the green one's turn. To crits. The green one's gonna make its two attacks against the car. Oh, actually, yeah, against uh, <laughs> First one with the bite. It's gonna be a 13 hit. Nope. Second one with the tail. It's gonna be a 23. Oh, yes! Oh. Doing seven points of damage, reduced to three. And then it's actually going to jump over. And it's going to make its run as well. As it jumps over, I would like to smack it with my battle axe. Go for it. Aim for the gooch. Uh, 21. That'll hit. No, 20 to hit, not now. That's right. So he gets stuck right there. Ooh. Can't move anywhere. Girl. Where was that a minute ago? <laughs> that would have been nice to double. 13 damage. It was a real nice 13? Game. Yeah. Alright. So it goes to jump over you, and as it does, you take your axe and you slam and pull it right back down on the cart, and you just sever its artery as its chest opens up, and you see there is blood pulling out, 
It's part of life, but the mechanics itself begin to shake, and then it goes limp instead. Yes, <gasps> thank goodness, but we're going to investigate it oh. a little bit. <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to do? That was just my opportunity to pass. Oh, so it's, it's uh, no Q's turn. All right, Q's going to go for the one that's left. Fairy fire is still on. Seventeen. Seventeen to hit. Damn. <laughs> I have a plus nine. Twenty-three. Twenty-three? Yeah. How you gonna do? I'm going to find a, a gear that kind of looks like a clock and just stick my rapier in it and make sure it just stops moving. Yeah, you stop it and it trips over itself, falls down, you see the sparks go off of it as it just implodes from inside and smoke goes up flying into the air. Ooh. Ooh. I want to... I want to see what is in the bags in the cart. All right, go ahead and do a perception check. Eleven. Okay. You quickly go to the first bag and pull open the strings to kind of open it. It's gold. Huh? How much is it? I found money. Is that meat finders keepers? Their car. Uh, I'm gonna move around the black. Dragon mechanism thingy, um, and hold my attack for anything coming out of the water. Okay. What are you holding? The camper. Which camper? Uh. You have to state what you want to hold. So like you could say, I'm holding Firebolt for when something comes out. But yeah, you can't you. just say I'm you. holding until they come out. I'm going to hold Produce Flame. Okay. So I'll start the flame. I'm uh, just playing with it in my hand. Right. Yeah. For it to come out. At which point, it does pop out of the water. Oh. So go ahead and make your attack. Yes. At advantage? Yep. No, that was the one that got fairy fired. Yes, at advantage. As it makes this run and it's going straight towards Q. 14. 14 is exactly what you need to do. Fire. Fire. Eight damage. Eight damage. As you go and you see you release the fire and it flies and lobs through the sky, you lob it. You just do the lob. You flow it. You flow it. Uh, is Float. I'm sorry. Is that an overhand or an underhand toss? Overhand toss. Underhand toss. <laughs> underhand toss. I failed the quiz. The elliptus. The elliptus pitch. The one question quiz. <laughs> we can say that. We can't say their name. Yeah, I can say no <laughs> So you. Who would give a one question quiz? <laughs> you float it. As the jaws open up and Q turns around and it goes to lunge right at you and it catches the fire in its mouth, burns up from the inside, and it rears back, stumbling as it falls to the ground. Dead. How do you like them apples? How do you like them fireballs? It's a spicy meat bun. Kelmis, what are these? (laughs) I don't know. I want to go look at the green drapes. Green mechanical drapes. Looking at it, I mean... And investigate. Love the word. Go for it. Does not mean anything for me? You do it. It's just me using a fancy word. Uh... (laughs) (laughs) That was was a great drink. It's like that's a gas (laughs) still. Go ahead. Continue. I don't think I see anything. (laughs) Only thing that you glean off of it, the scales are dragon scales. So. They're not dragonborn scales. These are real dragon scales, but this is not a dragon. Can I take some of the, the scales off? Uh, yes. If uh, go ahead and roll me for this. Let's see, a survival check. 
Okay. As you begin to try to pry them off and cut them off where they stay intact. Ooh. 24. 24, yeah. I would say you get, they're really heavy themselves, so the most you could carry, I'd say you probably get about 15 skills. Dang, girl. Can I? Which, which color are you grabbing? I, well, I want to go around and grab some of each. So let's say five of each. Okay. So five green, five blue, five black. <laughs> Back to Lakota. <laughs> Into the woods. <laughs> I, I want to like take a least. closer look at the dwarf. Probably. And also the dagger that you pulled out of him. You can look. Oh, but no. I feel like I'm collecting daggers. <laughs> because okay. you're losing daggers? Well, just don't lose that one. No problem. I bet you're right. But I do want to go like, rinse it off in the river. <laughs> okay. Do a strength just, check. Just, like, <laughs> the meat. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and the dagger goes down the river. No, do I? Yes. If you want to, yeah. I want to rinse it off. Yeah, go ahead. Can I just go rinse it off? Yeah. Are you going to make me roll anything? Yeah. <laughs> it's a river. It's still a rapid river. Just wipe it off in the dirt. Just wipe it off in the dirt. No, Dakar. You have clothing. <laughs> <laughs> like, there are other ways to clean shit. You have, a water, you have a water skin. Meanwhile, Q is licking her wings. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, It's like oil and antifreeze. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's, that's nice. A little wipe and a little rinse. That's high octane. Uh, hang on, I'm trying to do something with my bag. Nineteen. Yeah, you definitely can clean it. It's okay. good. It's clean. It's pristine. It's ready for me to stab someone. It's got a sheen. This is what it looks like, Q. That is an intense dagger. I'm it's so, so excited. Rated. Just be very careful. It's going to gently hard to get it out of whatever it is you put it in. When, while they're talking about cutlery, I want to investigate more in the uh, cart. Excuse you? You're investigating the cart? Mm -hmm. What are you looking at at the cart? Everything about top to bottom. The the suspension, Roll braking system. Check. Are you, the, who are you? I'm Dakar. Dakar. I'm, I'm, I'm Dakar. <laughs> where, where did you learn mechanics? mechanics? Oh, that's where you learned mechanics. <laughs> Four. Four? There are wheels. It has pause traction. There's, you can't four, have pause there's traction four wheels. Have. <laughs> there's four wheels. And anybody knows <laughs> in the mud. You can't. A few Skylark does, does not have. have. <laughs> yeah, you know crap about this other than it's a cart. The car almost rhymes with cart. It's stuck. <laughs> it's stuck in the mud. It's the cart. It's a near rhyme. Um, well, well, you're doing that and counting you're, the wheels. You're spinning the one wheel that's lifted off, and you're like, Ooh, oh, the yeah. cart says. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good cart. <laughs> Guys, you, what are you doing? These wheels. I, um, I wanted to check the dwarf to see if there was any like identifying information on why he had so much gold. All right, do an investigation check. Nine. Laugh at my four. Nine. Okay. There's not so much. Uh, it's not like he has his ID on him where you can get a name or anything. Turkey However, board. the uniform he's wearing, he does have a flap kind of leather cap that has uh, long strands that fall down to the side and it is a thick leather armor that in burnt into the hide itself you see these like triangular shapes on the chest area and these kind of curved indentions that when you stand back it looks like a dragon's face kind of through the negative space of the markings Ooh. Elvis, do you know this? No, you think it would fit though? Try it. You're you're just so nimble without yeah, armor. Know. I don't it's know. It's so pretty with the negative space. Try it on. Can I try I'm, it on? I'm not that interested. But Dakar, I feel like I owe you money. Here's oh. here's some money. Y'all don't owe me anything. I feel like y'all don't I feel owe like, me. Okay, anything. While they're doing this, I'm gonna pocket a lot, like a huge <laughs> handful. Okay, go ahead and do a sleight of hand. 
if you oh, if you want to see it, you you would you roll like a twenty seven. Twenty seven. Yeah, you can't see it. You can't see it at all. I'm like, let me that twenty this. All right, uh, do me a favor. Roll a percentile die. Okay. That's both of them, right? Yes. You're able to quickly get one of the smaller sacks and you pocket it. Okay. You put it away and stuff it in your bag. It's real heavy. Okay. We'll look at it later. Okay. okay. I'm not gonna s- I'm not you. I don't say anything right now. It's like, what oh, you I was like, where's your camera at? Alright. Okay. That's fine. Anything you else you want to do? Figure it. Vic wants a picture. Kachik! They are really weird. You know, I know it would be great. I feel like Raystrom would be so excited about this. I feel like he would too. I feel like he would know what this was. And it's a dwarf. Isn't he like... Hmm. You're right. He lived with dwarves for a while, right? Yeah, he was from the Bardoon. So. Does this leather armor fit me as I'm trying it on? It's a little large, but you can easily manage to get it around your body. How do I look, guys? You need a belt, but yeah. I mean, I like the negative space dragon. <laughs> do you like it? Apart from the hole really... in the back where the dragon is, <laughs> it's intact. It's, it's breezy. <laughs> but are you going to wear it? Because that's what really matters. Because if you're not going to wear it, you shouldn't buy it. it. Don't take it. I mean, I mean I'm wearing it. But, but will you continue to wear it? Because I don't want to end up holding it. I have it on now. Oh, I know, but like in an hour when it gets really warm. I'm Are you still going to want to wear it? Well, probably. Yes or no? Maybe. I'm yeah. In an hour when it's hot. Are you are you going to ask one of us to carry it for you? No. And okay. it's time then to you sit down and make camp, are you going to take care of it? And when we leave the next morning, are you going to put it back on? Or are you going to want someone to carry it for you? I already have leather armor on. <laughs> no, I know. That's why. Do you want another leather armor? Do you need two? They look similar. I mean, this one has a But this one's on. cool. This one also has a dagger hole in the back. You know what? I say one in, one out. Why don't you? You don't need two. You don't need two. It's bad to wear two at one time. Smart. Life lessons. Um... Really want to take this cart, but I don't feel like it's safe to take this much money. But we need the. How much money is it? Do you want to sit here and count it all? We don't have the time. Well, why would you just put it in the bag? Would the bag get really heavy? No. Well, why don't we try it? That's put some in the bag. Open it up. Honk. You're going to take all of the. We're going to put as much. We're going to. Test it to see if the bag gets heavier. But I want to open it. It does not get significantly heavier. There's a little bit of weight to it, but not so much. Ooh. Okay. I. Are we taking it off? I mean, this. I feel like we're stealing if we take it off. I'm going to look at it. That's He's it. Dead. He's dead. They're dead. We can also use it to help so many other people we come across. Good one. It adds up to about 1,200 gold pieces. You, as you sneak a peek at yours, yours is not gold. You found about 30 platinum pieces. Oh! You bitch. Okay, so technically... Hold on. Other? No. So how many? 30. 30. I got you, Kiel. Um, She's saving it. Are you going to buy a house? <laughs> buy a cart. It's a cart. You going to get a time share? <laughs> What do you have to do? There are two zeros at the end. One, no. two, zero, zero. You I have added. money. Oh. Do you mean just add it over here that no, I can tell I you? I got it. I got it. You just add it right there. It's fine. No, so like I can add it in here. I can tell you the number. I, I feel like it. there's also a calculator app. It was also a really easy addition problem. It just looked overwhelming at first. <laughs> Did you round up to 30 and then add Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Did I, I do all the math wrong? Are you doing half the math? <laughs> okay, we're good. 
the treasury is updated. Richer, so a little, little more wounded. Gold. What are you doing? Well, I feel like we should just keep going. Yeah, like okay, sweet. I feel like we should just keep going. There's no like identifying. No, I looked. And there's no like if I look at the, I no I know I looked at the blade. Of the dagger, is there anything on the handle of the dagger? On the hilt of the handle itself? Any of those things. Things are not shown before me. From what you rolled before, from what you rolled before, it is a golden hilt. It has been used. It is very old, but very sharp. Apart from the serrated edge, that is very odd for a dagger. Looks functional. Thank you. Looks more like a cooking knife. I swear, if somebody calls it cutlery one more time, I'm gonna cutlery them. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm tired. Are you angry? Well, we should find somewhere to rest. I don't know if is it resting time here with all these robots. Ro robots. Mechanical being. Is it a vicious dagger? It is not. <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we just rest yeah, here? Yeah, yes, let's rest here. Right. So we'll rest here. Kind of make camp around the cart. So you'll take a rest. You pull up mm -hmm. camp. I'll you know start what? fire. Wait, wait, wait. Before we, before we take rest, can we think about the fact that one of those creatures popped out of the water right here? Can we get a little further away from the water? In case another one pops out. Sure. Does that make sense? I'm, I'm okay with it. You're okay with that? You want to walk to the tree line? Just like far there, There's no tree line. Yeah, there's oh. no tree line. Well. Where it's mountains or water. <laughs> water, mountains. Well, I just want to. North, just, south. Too close. Okay. But now that we've emptied the cart, we could use it. We just have no one to pull it. Oh. I mean, I think you could pull it. I think you could too. <laughs> Jamila can help me. <laughs> no, Jamila. Jamila can Really? Do that. Jamila's no. gonna run to pull the cart? <laughs> I realized my, my mistake. Favorite. We have no one to pull the cart. Really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> really, I'm there? pretty sure if you go back for the recording, I say, oh, before the really. <laughs> <laughs> because we gave you the eyes. <laughs> If only we had someone incredibly strong in our party. Let me just drag the cart further away from the water. Do you drag the cart? Yeah, I'm dragging Let's Roll a strength check. I will touch Kelvis and be like, you've got this girl. I and hope as he, so. I need more to that. I'm going to cast guidance. Um, 16. Oh, that was 18. 18. So, 25. Is that three? No, it's an eighteen. No, I was looking at just the oh, three. Different. I was looking at just the eight parts. Is it a three or an eight? Oh my gosh. Okay, twenty-nine. Yeah, you. You pick that shit up. You're like, should Jamila do it? I think Jamila should do it. Oh, I'll do it. Fine. Fine. And then you just like casually walk with it as it pulls behind you, like it's nothing. Yeah. So you have a car falling behind you. <laughs> Where do you want to make Noble Steve. <laughs> Slow down, Kelvis. What, like 100 feet from the river? There's not much room? Oh, there's plenty of room. Yeah. I feel like there's 100 feet between. Yeah, the, yeah, so, Just but, enough for us to have a fair warning. Yeah. yeah. So you'll get away, you get a little vantage point, and you've set up a small camp. Are you mm -hmm. taking a small rest, or a short rest, or a long rest? I'd say, what, what time I... is it? I would say you're getting closer to like 3 p.m. Pretty early in the day. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't think we need a long rest. Eventually. We can do a long rest. We just start out in the middle of the night or start out the next morning? Start out the next morning. Just relax. A little barbecue. I mean. All right. So you take your rest, you set up camp, and you have the night to yourselves. How do you feel about the war? Or eating? Oh, Kelmis. You want to eat the war? What? I wasn't on that long in, in the Deadwood. You said, Who are you? You said barbecue. We can't eat the gears. I don't want to eat the We have the rations. <laughs> rations. Oh, 
experience. Talk about rations. I told you I was tired. I misunderstood. Tell us, have us snikers. <laughs> I hate love all of you at the same time. <laughs> that was the best two minutes of my life. Was, I don't think it was two minutes. It was either. 20 seconds. Should, it felt like two minutes. It felt like 20 hours. We should eat. We should eat. How do you feel about Dwarf? <laughs> Calvin! <laughs> you missed the barbecue part. I know, but still. How do you feel about Dwarf? <laughs> dwarf is not on the menu. I thought you yet. were implying. You know what? Why don't you go to sleep? Yes, please. I can't yeah. take the first watch. It's a bad idea. So, during my watch, I'm going to take some time to go through my bag and finally look through the deck of cards that I got. I haven't had time to, like, see what they are, so I'm going to look through them. Okay. Uh, are you sleeping or are you staying up? <gasps> For the first watch. I'll meditate. Okay. So, peering through... You see the cards themselves. Uh, you count them out, and definitely there's not a full set of playing cards. However, you do start looking at the details of the characters that are inscribed around the numbers and the face cards, and there are a variety of different creatures and beasts, some humanoid, some mythical. And they have an ever-glowing kind of sheen around them. And every now and then you almost imagine that you see one slightly moving in the card where it was holding on to the number three you kind of glance away and look back and it's now in the center of the card next to the symbol seeing that I'm going to get scared and kind of like Ugh. I'm going to keep just looking through them and seeing and getting to know them as you come through Go ahead and draw one card. Um, jack of clubs. As the jack of clubs falls out and hits the ground, let's go ahead and read the creature that's on it. Priest. As it hits the ground and immediately standing upon where the card hit the floor, there is an image of an elven man garbed in priest robes that just kind of stares at you. You can see the breathing of the chest, the rise and fall. He does kind of a uh, motion and gesture with what's around him, but he never speaks. And as he looks around, after a few minutes, the card fades away. And then on the floor, the card burns to ash. And disappears. So what you have is the deck of illusions. So by using them you can pick a card at random, as many cards as you want, and throw them, and whatever you choose will appear as an illusion that stays in that space. You do that, I believe, have the ability to move it Ooh. a fair distance, but once the time runs out, it burns away and you okay. can't use the card again. I've tried so hard to not read this. Yeah. Okay. So you have to attune to this one. Okay. Deck of Illusion? Yeah. Okay. Oh, still sleepy. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Dakar, you eventually come out of your your rest, feeling fully rested, oh, yeah. and you notice, you see, look over and you see Q by the fire, staring at a set of cards as she is in awe, flipping through and kind of looking at all the pictures. How are you feeling, Q? Okay, I need, I need to rest if, soon, uh -huh. whenever Kelnis wakes up, but... Well, I mean, I'm, I'm rested now. Oh. I'll take watch with Jamila. Okay. Jamila is out. <laughs> I'll watch Jamila. <laughs> she, she, he, he has his way so much. Night terrors. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take my rest. All right. So you begin to take your rest? Mm-hmm. Are you staying watch? Yes, I'm watching. It's very quiet tonight. Calm, peaceful. There is a chill that comes off the mountain, and the night gets very cold. I'm going to produce flame and create some, a little fire. Did you create the, a little fire? The carpet's not there. You feel the warmth on your hands. It does help for a little bit, but you do start to hear the shiver coming from your sleeping companions. It is getting very cold. So I'm going to... Are there like twigs and stuff around where I could like start a little fire? Roll in it. Uh, let's go ahead and do a perception check. Or investigation check, actually, as you search. Shh, that way. Yeah. You're able to get enough to build no. a fire. No. Oh, no. Well, I mean, you can if you want, <laughs> but you don't have to. No. I fucking found sticks. Let me celebrate somehow. <laughs> Shit. I, I found sticks. Shots. <laughs> shots all around. I can't fucking hit a creature to save my life. I can find fucking sticks and make a fire. That's not true. <laughs> have you tried using your bird roll? <laughs> Sticks! <laughs> Sticks! <laughs> so I'm gonna start a little fire and put it between all my sleeping companions to try and give them warmth. There was already a fire, so then you have two fires. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna start another fire then yeah, you have two to fires. give us double warmth day. Everybody has a personal fire. <laughs> I'm gonna start making a table seg walk. <laughs> For, for when they wake up. <laughs> breakfast, uh, <this>. breakfast squawk. <laughs> Bre- breakfast squawk. <laughs> 50 cents extra. <laughs> Would you like to pay 50 cents extra for breakfast squawk? Of yes. course. <laughs> Why are you asking? Is that even a question? That was my favorite in Austin. We went to a... It was you like, upcharge that shit. It was like a couture hot dog place. Austin. <laughs> and they were, like, they were like, do you want to pee? Fifty? Are you gonna uh, add fifty cents to add uh, pulled pork to put on the nachos? Fuck like, yes. Why are you asking? Fifty cents. Yes. Do you want to pay two dollars to have a bun on your hot dog? <laughs> sure. Why not? <laughs> Splurge. Really crazy. Uh, upcharge me. <laughs> Moving on. Two fires. Two fires and warm. Night goes away, and you feel the subtle warmth of of dawn begin to encroach upon your campsite. The group wakes up, feeling well rested. What would you like to do? Did anything interesting happen happen during the night? I mean, it got chilly, so I started another fire for us. Thanks. And I also made breakfast guac. Oh, my favorite. Thank you. How do you know? (laughs) I mean, the the time I spent in in the Zaget just sort of waiting. I heard them talking about the fabled breakfast walk. <laughs> so I figured I'd give it a try. <laughs> breakfast walk aside. Um, aside? I don't, I don't... It is a side, yes. <laughs> a la carte? I, are you using a comment? A lot has happened, like, since then. But did I tell you guys that I found, like, this deck of cards? No. When uh, when those weird archers were there, and then you turned yeah, into there was a, a panther. Oh, was a panther. Yes. Then, uh, so I found this deck of cards, and it's just very close. they've just been <laughs> sitting in my bag, and I finally figured out what they are. What are they? They're not playing cards. Like go fish. No. So I was looking at them, and the things were moving, and I like I grab one and I show you like the picture. Draw it. Oh, oh. God. Okay. No, not draw a picture of it. Draw the card. <gasps> oh. Okay. Yeah, the moment you say like, you show them. It's a stick okay, figure. <laughs> Damn it. That's probably a good one. <laughs> You're so excited. King so of Hearts. Hearts. Okay, what is it? Uh, as you, it's as a you... spork, but there's no, like... Can I see the card? Because I remember I, I have to do it for you and I remember King of Hearts. Oh, no, not King, King of Hearts. King of Spades. King of Spades. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, it's still right. 
So as you draw it and you show up, you see this king, and on it you see this orc carrying this large, heavy, double-headed, it almost has like two skull heads on a club, and then the card jumps out of her hand and hits the ground, Move. and then this orc appears, and you see it, and it kind of looks Chupacabra! at you, and it raises its, its uh, club as it kind of looks like it's coming straight at you, and then it goes to swing right at you. I grab my battle axe to, like, block the blow. You go to block it, and as it passes through you, it just dissipates, and the card burns away. Yeah! They're fake! You're magic? I'm not. They are. Oh. This one's not. I don't like that. That was cool! Well, I know we don't like it, Please but don't like, do that to me again. I, well, I won't do it to you, but imagine what it, like, for... Other, like, yes! Yeah! How scary was that to you? Terrifying! It was like an illusion. In a deck of cards. Deep, 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 deep. <laughs> of illusion. There's so many. You can be such a deck with that card. <laughs> Get I the hell out of here. <laughs> Get out now. <laughs> We're taking a break now. <laughs> so Look how move. many there are. Like it just How many are there? Let's go through them. No, because well, no. I got it. I got this one. And this one. <laughs> Have you ever played 52 card makeup? <laughs> Can you make a fan out? No. Well, whenever I like pick one, it just like it shows something and then it goes away. I don't have it anymore. So, so use them wisely. Yeah. But I mean, I have a lot. Cool. Yeah. Do I have to pick these at random? Mm hmm Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Whoa. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. How do you make something like that? I don't know. How do you make something like that? How would I know? You're magic. You have magic. I, I just have it. You have lots of fancy magic. It just happens. I just sort of think about what I want to happen and it happens. So if you think about wanting to make a deck of cards that do that. Can I'm, you do this? I mean, you see me be a penta. No, I know. <laughs> and I've been a ba. <laughs> what the Thank you more than those. Never were you. Oh, but the baby. <laughs> Oh, like that's I I just sort of like I think of something in my head and it happens. Okay. So think about a but, deck of cards that do crazy things like that. I, right here. I don't think my magic works that way, but I'll give it a try. Do you have a deck of cards I can use? Well, no, that's you that's the about. magic. Oh, you have to make it. I I can't make a deck of cards out of nothing. <sighs> All right, let me give it a go. You found some sticks. And Good I made job. a fire. You did. Good job. <laughs> Hello, kid! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing seems to appear. It's See, okay. Nothing uh, seems it's okay. I don't know. I don't is know that, is know. that? No, no, this is grass. A caterpillar walks across the leaf. <laughs> oh, I did that! <laughs> okay. Well, that's... Not really. I was just curious. Not yeah, really that's, important. That's... That's was, not my kind of magic, I guess. It was entertaining. Guess. It was. Yeah. Alright, well, yeah, that's what happened. T last night. So... I just slept. Yeah. I feel so much better. Well, well, why will while we're sharing, I should probably tell y'all, I've had some like dreams since being unpetrified. About what kind of dreams? Like about myself. Like, I think I'm slowly learning where I'm from. Where are you from? The tree. You're from the tree. Well, precisely, but like it's, I'm from the tree, but from. I came to the tree from another place. I think that's how I was born in the tree. So were you 
born somewhere else and then taken to the tree, or were you born somewhere else, sent to the tree? Maybe. Or born somewhere else in the tree, and then the tree was brought to that place. I think the tree was already there. Because there are other trees like that. There are other trees? No, mm -hmm. there can't be other trees like my tree. Yeah. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. What was it called? A chronos tree? A, a, cro a chrona tree. Chrona tree. It's called a chrona tree. And they, like, help with the stability of magic on the island. <sighs> Which makes sense. I don't remember all of the specifics because I do remember I was having some pretty serious brain fog that day. So I don't remember. <laughs> I know all about brain fog. <laughs> I remember staring at a blooming onion and really wanting to understand it and not getting anywhere. I mean, story of my life. So kill us. Fill us in. Well, no, it just it's it that it's that it like it's like a it keeps the evil away. Like there are evil things close by. Like, we went to a, another, like a... Dimension? Yeah. And there are Plane? all these evil things close by on these other planes or dimensions, and the chrono trees are what keep us safe. But they can be corrupted. Because the one we saw was poisoned or something. It yeah. didn't look like your tree. But mine's good, so I should be good? But, the, but is it good when right was now? the last time you saw it? Well, last time I was there with you guys? It's been a while. No, but I mean, when, when I was born out of it, it was it was a good tree. So, circling back to your dreams. What so you where dreaming? are you coming from? Where did you come from? Where did you go? I... Where did you come from, God? <laughs> <I joke. laughs> I didn't see it coming. <laughs> well, wow! Gotcha! Sucker punch. That's what it was. That's what the movie's called. I know, we talked about it. <laughs> I don't remember talking about the name. Oh, and I remember the other name of the movie. What? Hannah. Oh, yeah, great oh, one. Oh, yeah! I haven't seen that one. No, the sponsor. We're back in. <laughs> Sorry. What was your uh, name about? Uh, I, I mean, Start I've had... Start to finish. <laughs> I've, had, I've had lots of dreams about, like... Other, <laughs> other places, like, since I've been a kid. And I feel like I might be from that other place, but I really don't know where the other place is. Well, describe it. Was it dark and red? I mean, red? No. Sometimes they're dark, but sometimes it's light. and Like daytime and nighttime? Maybe. Sass. Well, I mean. No, the the sun and the no. moon and. Oh. Your dreams that you've always had have been in a state of twilight, where you can't really tell if it's turning into night or turning into day. What else happens? It it it's different all the time. Like I'm just walking sometimes, and sometimes it's a little eerie and spooky, and other times it's. But where are you going? Nice and... I mean... Just on an endless journey. Do you know what's behind you or in front of you? How old are you in these dreams <laughs> where you're in going on an endless journey? I mean, I'm always my age. And you've always had these dreams? Well, yeah. Did you keep a dream journal? No, that would be silly. <laughs> Dakar. What? It would be it. wise. <laughs> I'm no owl. <laughs> if you keep a dream journal, I think that's a great idea. Because it seems like you don't even really know what's going on in these dreams. I don't. But if you I had really a, don't. if you had a journal, then you could like keep track of and look back and see for look for any patterns. So what happened in your most recent dream? Did you dream last night? I don't think so. Do you dream when you meditate or just when you sleep? Well, it's the same thing. Mm. Like I don't I don't really ever sleep. I just 
sort of go into a trance. Every time? Yeah. So then you always dream? Or do you always dream when you meditate? I don't always dream when I meditate, but I always meditate when I try to sleep. Mm-hmm. It's just more of a trance state. I don't think I get the REM like. It's like the whole all tortoises are turtles, but not all turtles are tortoises. Precisely. I got you. I could probably turn into one of those. (laughs) One of them, not all of them. Yeah, just a Taurus or a turtle. Not not sure which one, but I'll turn into one. You just call me Shelby. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, but is there anything important you want to tell us from these dreams? Like, I appreciate you sharing that you have dreams, but, like, is there any, like, what? I mean, not that I can think of right now. I just, I went So you're to, always walking in these dreams? Well, yeah, most of the time. But, like, I know things are hazy since my de-petrifying. Are your dreams different since you're de-petrifying? Well, I don't feel like I really dreamed during that, but, like, it felt like a dream since I was awake but not able to do anything. Mm-hmm. It's as I was in the throne room, it's like one of those things where it's like, you know, I feel like things were passing me by, but like I couldn't control them. I like my dreams were like that. But since you've been depetrified, have your dream are your dreams the same as they were before or different? I guess the same. But I'm not sure because like some things are still foggy. Well, thank you for sharing. Yeah. Now that I've shared, and Dakar has shared, mm-hmm. countless Jamila? Oh, have... I mean, Keldis? I've, l- I've learned mom's... that this is how you build relationships. You tell secrets and you make cuts. Would you want me to make a cut? What? No. Because Why does yours this... look so much better than mine? Oh, because we did this right. Oh. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 I don't have one. Oh my god! Ah! Oh, no! No! Oh, oh, oh. We have to believe that. Whoa. No! We'll come back and talk about it over break. I can't battle cry and stab myself? No. no. Bad oh. choice. <laughs> Alright. Where were we? <laughs> we can't drink. I don't know! No! no. What time is it? How far in are we? 7.30. 7.30. <laughs> Does that help? No. An hour and a a freckle, freckle right. past the head. Walking. Uh, after you share a secret. A, a secret, my If you would like. I mean, I'm really weirded out by those red dragonborns attacking you. Me too. Because one, if they have weapons, then maybe a revolution has happened without us. But two, if they have occluded eyes, then I don't know what that means. Is this yeah. something you feel we should investigate? Well, it's on the list. Oh, God. We're going to go back at some point in time. I was a little, like, taken aback at Tiana for saying that we... Okay, we went through, like, this whole thing of, like, sharing and bonding and we became blood sisters and it was really awesome. I know. I'm sorry, Kelness. I know. We waited. I know. Well, we were trying to get back to you. You were trying to get back to us. Tiana was not. Well, I thought we were trying to get back to you. But all of that happened, and then all of a sudden, we were back at this again, and she said, I'm sorry I had to. So that tells me it was all a lie. That's what that tells me. So... I feel like I need some real connection right now. So I shared and Dakar shared. Please share something. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> you already found the toys in my room. <laughs> <laughs> what was the stuffy's name? Tiger. <laughs> Sniffling and we can go. <laughs> Sarah, moving forward. Yes. If Get only, her. if only y'all had gotten lucky for me, we can maybe send a message to. Moving the- forward. Gathering up the cart, 
and moving forward. Are y'all riding on the cart while I hold this thing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I feel empty cart. I feel like we don't need it. Thank you. I feel like we don't need it. I mean, I... No, we don't need it. We don't need it. Abandoning the cart. <laughs> <laughs> Abandoning the cart and moving back towards the river and falling. You do another couple hours journey and you start seeing a large stone bridge that travels across the river from the west to the east coast. Would that be, um... It's not on the map. Okay. But how close to the fork? I will not tell you. <gasps> okay. Between here and here. <laughs> then it would just... Can we see what's on the other side of the bridge? From where we're standing? Across the river? Yeah. There's more small plain lands. And then you see the Zagat in the distance. <laughs> Have you ever been to that side of the Zagat? I just haven't seen it from this angle. Oh. I mean, if we cross the bridge, can we still stay far enough away from this again to keep going? Or should, do you think we should stay on the side? Well, if we cross the bridge, it puts us between two rivers. No, because you didn't say the, there was another river. Between. According to the map we have, there's two rivers. He just said he wasn't going to show me. Well, this bridge is not on the map, sir. Correct. And there's not another river on the other side of the bridge. We don't know until we cross the bridge. We see planes and this again. Mm -hmm. In the distance. In the same way that you saw the mountains in the distance. Far away. <laughs> I don't know. If we cross this bridge and there's still another river to cross, then what if there's not another bridge? We have to cross two rivers. I mean, I could turn to a frog, and y'all can hold on, and I'll swim. Yeah, it would be a frog. That would really mm -hmm. pull me yeah. across the river. <laughs> <laughs> I would hold on to you. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. A frog like can't this. carry. I would hold on to you like this. Uh-huh. Precisely. And I would walk through the water. No, no, no. <laughs> I would swim. <laughs> no. I would swim us you across wouldn't... the room. Well, I mean... This we can cross back over the river. Yes, we can. And also, I mean, this river is flowing very quickly. What if the other one is not? What if it's what if it's not flowing too quickly? We can just swim across. Okay. Also, we don't know how old this map is. The river could not be there anymore. Maybe. Why do you think of things like this? Oh. I don't mean in a bad way. I just... It's probably that table side guac from this morning. <laughs> Did you eat some of the dwarf? What? No, I would never. Better not. I'm a druid. <laughs> yeah. Can I have one of the scales? <laughs> so I'm stuck in the back of my molar. I say we cross the bridge. Let's cross the bridge. Alright, as you make your way to the bridge itself, Pulling up and heading down the path, uh, you start seeing there is a dirt road that follows into the bridge itself. It's a rather, I mean, it's a well-crafted bridge. This is definitely not just a small traversing, like, peasant bridge. And you see standing within the pathway three figures. One, a small gnome in very plain, uh, kind of pale turquoise, turquoise, turquoise garb, turquoise, turquoise, turquoise garb. And then you see uh, another gentleman who is in these gray, long, overflowing, kind of piling, pillowing uh, robes with his hands kind of hidden inside of his large sleeves with a small little red series of indentions of dots that go from the temple all the way over to the left side of the head. And then a very proud standing woman with dark black hair that streams across a bright shining silver uh, cuirass and full plate armor with three stars engraved, engraved upon it. And as you approach, the woman puts her hand forward and she says, please, please halt. Okay. Would you please, um, the course. Imperial Road is closed. Oh. I would ask that you uh, state your business, please. Oh, well, if it's closed, uh, we're on our way to Potent's point, so we'll just go around. Sorry. I apologize, but um, 
Houghton's Point is off limits right now. You'd have to go through the capital city. Oh, why is it off limits? What happened? Well, if you're going to Houghton's Point, you'd have to cross the river. And right now, we do have a state of emergency where the capital is in lockdown. So I would have to ask that you please uh, provide proof of residence in the capital or that you have uh, private meetings or dealings or show some kind of merit to get gain entry. What happened? We, I mean, I'm sorry, we don't have any of those things, but how long have we been lost? What happened? Like what? what? I I've never been to the capital. Is that not normal? I don't know. I, that doesn't sound normal. We've been able to move freely everywhere else. Well, that's wonderful dear, but uh, currently we have the capital under lockdown, so no outsiders shall be coming in. So the bridgeways to the interior of the island are currently off limits, unless you have some written decree of noble or a uh, noble rank to let you through. I mean, I mean, I don't have anything of noble rank, but I have something from a friend who lives in the Badoon. Uh, telling us to come and visit. In the bathroom? Yeah. I'm trying to figure um, out where that is. So that's all I can think of. I mean, I have a scroll of pedigree that says who I am. Is that enough? What is that? It's just kind of like a birth certificate slash this is who I am. You have a birth certificate? We keep track of that in this again. Oh, you saw well, those books. Well, I was adopted, so I don't have one. You were adopted? Yeah. I a tree's my that. mom. I'm trying to like flash my armor to them. Oh, I was wondering what <laughs> you were doing. What you were doing. I'm trying to make the dragon do the optical um, illusion. I'm sorry. You were... What up? Um, I'm, s I'm sorry. I... Your, your armor. You are one of the stone forges from Bardoon. Might I ask why you are, are so far south? Well, I needed certain things down here and... Well, he, w he was sent by Raystrom Brigadoon to help us get to the Badoon. I have a letter from him inviting us to come and see him. Might I see the letter? Uh, sure. It's very, very special to me, so if I could hold it and you read it, see with your eyes, not with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> and she leans over and she reads it. I apologize for our class being separated at the moment in haste. Meet me out in Bardoon. Oh, okay, very well. But um, the Bardoon Refuge, actually, uh, you don't need to cross the bridge. You would continue going north. Okay. Uh, it's quite a few days travel past the mountain cliffs, and that would take you to the very edge of Bardoon. Okay. Um, I, we may have an outdated map. Could you just Bear kind of by. point us in the right direction of yes. where that would be? I'm sorry, we're so lost. No, we, uh... If you head into the capital, the capital itself does have a rather large wall. It's actually built within a large sinkhole. Oh. So you can't get the capital from this side of the river. You would hit the out exterior wall, which is a defensive barrier. You would have to go across the river, down the Imperial Road, and then there is actually where the windway comes in. There is a main entrance that is defended by the Malasaran. Okay. Um, but to get past that to the Bardoon, you would need to have to take the mountain passes. Okay. You could go through the Imperial Road, but it's... You said gonna... it's closed right it's, now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think the mountains is a good idea. Mm. Right? Sure. Yeah. That sounds... Thank you. Have y'all had breakfast yet? Wait. Uh, I'm... I mean... Well, we still have breakfast guac left over. Don't try his breakfast guac. Yes. Don't try We are I... coming from, from the southern region. Did you come out of the Deadwood? Yes, we were lost. Very lost. But you came from the Deadwood. Yeah. Well, that's where the yes. supplies I needed were at. Oh, it's quite impressive. Many mm. people don't don't travel into the Deadwood. By chance, did you did you run across a gentleman, uh, Dwarven, also one of the the Baldur and Stoneforgers? 
No. I don't think we spoke to any dwarves. No. No, I'm All sorry. Check. All of us? Oh. 13. 19. 19. That's, that's concerning because if you came from the south, we had a, a gentleman who was actually doing a deed for us, coming with some goods from the Deadwood itself. Odd that you would not have crossed paths, being two stone forgers. You should recognize each other. There's only limited ranks among yourselves in the Badun. We did come across an abandoned cart, but we didn't, we didn't speak anyone. to any dwarves. The cart was abandoned. There was nothing inside. Yeah, um, we can actually. It, it's, and I kind of say where it is. There was no body of a dwarf. Uh, not where the cart was. No. Perhaps a dagger. No. Ornate in design, golden and gold hilt. Rather curious, serrated, curved edge. I d- didn't see. I didn't. I don't have any daggers. I didn't find one. It's a pity. He was actually bringing some much needed uh, coinage to pay for some improvements within the Imperial City. Would have done quite a great deal of of deed and it would have saved a lot of lives. Well, I hope you find it. Are, are things not okay there? Do you need aid? Well, it is a rather large city and as cities grow in size so do the needs that are demanded upon government for the sake of the people. There are many who are suffering in squalor. Yeah, I know well, if, if we... Sorry, I didn't mean to put this button on you. If we no, donated it to that cause, would that possibly gain us passage to the Imperial Road? Well, the, the roads is... are closed. Oh, yeah. okay. So I mean, if you're willing to give a charitable donation, then by all means, we would gladly accept. I mean, it would help, like, women and children and, and those in need, yes. I would assume. Absolutely. Any generosity that is given will most certainly perform some kind of boon from the Lady in Shadow, who will bless you among your travel travels. That can never be a bad thing. I mean, I don't... We don't use money in the Zagat. Do you have spare coin? Well, I haven't. I owe you amongst... Other things. Yeah. I mean, you can ask them if that would count as any kind of currency, but I don't think. Yeah, I don't would. think this will work. I'm really sorry. sorry. That we don't need any trade in favors right now. How much? I how much is, coin I, would be I useful? I never caught your names. I'm Q. The car. Kelly's. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Delphine Dupree of the Dark Duny. These are my companions. This is Marcus and Aurelia. It was really, it's really nice to meet you. Thank you for all of your information and pointing us in the right direction. Absolutely. What was the dark-haired woman's name? Uh, my, Delphine is the dark-haired woman. Delphine, okay. Marcus is the small gnome. Oh, okay. Aurelia is the priest. Well, we should get going if we're t- going to go through the mountains. The mountains. Well, how, how? Well, I think I, I mm-hmm. think we should just go. The IOU is not. It's not gonna. It's. I'm. I'm sorry, Dakar. As much as I want it to be real money for you, it represents real money in my heart. So we. It's it. not real money. So. But if we, we have like go. a few coins to spare, like to cross have here, have you like, picked up on? any coins since? I mean, we've been with each other for... Yeah. I don't know how many they need. That's why I'm asking. Are you saying you've been hiding money from us? I think they have... I think they might need more than one person can give. So. Okay. It's an entire city. But every little bit helps. It's like the table side walk. To a certain extent. Mm. <sighs> I think we should just go through the mountains. Okay. Thank you, Delphine. Best wishes to y'all. Please be safe on your journey. It's very dangerous through the mountain passes. Dangerous how? Well, just beyond the matter of beasts that you encounter going through those treacherous areas, there's also the climate. 
very harsh cold temperatures as you move up in altitude. And I especially. If you're not suited or outfitted for those kind of environments, you could die of pure cold and exposure. Is there a town uh, nearby where we can get maybe some or something? clothing or jackets, I mean, coats? The closest one would be the Imperial City and the outlying towns. Okay. I mean... Would we have to cross to get to those cities? Yes. The, the closed okay. bridge of road? But you seem like good people. I try. If you're willing to, to assist in some kind of way. Even a small fee. Then perhaps we can see you across. I mean, I'm always happy to help those in need. You know what? I think we could do 40 gold. Just, and kind of, do you have like a, I don't know, like a, like a card that's shaped like a hand where we can write our names in and you just kind of put it on the wall somewhere, on the, um, on the bridge? You no, know, this is more of an anonymous donation. Well, well, it sounds like we should come up with a name to put on there. An anonymous, a name that doesn't have our names. Anonymous? Well, I mean... Anonymous typically means no name. I don't... Well, yeah, but, like... There's no hand. Oh, okay. Dairy Queen has hands. <laughs> and Blizzards. The name Not of a sponsor. The party? The Dairy Queens? No. <gasps> Moo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can turn to a cow. <laughs> anyone, anyone want to suckle on my utter? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm lactose <laughs> Good no. thing I'm Mootopia. <laughs> well, I don't know. You're all about the birds. Um, I don't know. What what should we write? Birds. Fowl. 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 Guys. Fowl has such a negative connotation. Like the F O U L, not F O W L. But it's also F O W L. It's punny. Fowl. Foul boys, but we're not boys. You really don't need a name. You do understand this. This is an anonymous gift. You could just oh. give money and cross. Okay. Well, I guess. Well, well this is more for us. Nobody, but nobody will ever know it's from us. So okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of the point. Of I know. Anonymous I know. I know. I know. <laughs> do good things, and good daddy. things will happen. Okay. If you really want to make a name for yourself through good deeds. Then, when you finally reach the capital, um, there is. A way for you to gain status there. Oh. Um, well, of course, the talents that you provide and the services that you do within the city do travel. Word picks up, and you can gain notoriety within the city ranks. Huh. Even the smallest of deeds do go noticed. Well, it good. sounds like a good place. Besides donating money, like, do you know anything we could do to like? make a good impression in the city? Well, the surrounding towns are always in need of healing. Herbs, potions, whatever you're willing to give. Sounds like you're calling. Let's do it to it. Okay, open up the bag. Well, our good deeds are getting us across. Well, well no, no, no. Ancient is getting no. us across. 40 gold is getting us across. Ooh. Let our me see if I can find that much in your bag. Alright. And the make a show of digging for scrounging for it's not that string, not that button. <laughs> scrounging for a forty gold piece. Oh I do two No, he's not showing you. <laughs> six more. There's four more. That's twelve. Quite an interesting bag you have. Yeah, it holds a lot of stuff. I know, I'm quite quite curious about it because you're digging very deep, and yet pulling out so little. It's... I got a lot of knickknacks in there. It's he... tricky. It was a gift. Is that a... Is that an enchanted bag? 
It is, and he likes to pick up a lot of like bird stuff, like twigs like, I'm and berries. Have to wash my hands after this. And Would bird you be willing, droppings. A chance to forego the forty gold and instead trade for the bag. I don't think so. It was a, a gift. gift, and we're supposed to take it back. Yeah, it's well, on. As a reminder, this is actually a closed road. Okay, well, I'm working on the 40 gold piece. But what if the 40 gold piece doesn't interest me? Well, then we, we can go through the, the mountains. Go to the mountains. That's fine. That, that's okay. I mean, we were fine going through the mountains. But how are we going to help people? We can help people whenever we'll help we get other there. people. There okay. are people to help everywhere. Very well. I'm sorry, Delphine. Yeah. No problem at all. May the lady in shadow be ever over you, over watching your steps. And you too. Yeah. We walk backwards. Back. <laughs> so you begin to head north. Mm-hmm. Okay. And while we head north, I'm just going to kind of subtly watch our backs. All right. Go ahead and do a perception check. Fourteen. As you begin to move off, you look, and for a moment, you see everybody there, and then you keep walking, and you turn around, and they're not there. Y'all, they're not there anymore. They were there just a second ago. They're probably still there. Nope, I'm not kidding. No, I know. I know you don't see them, but they're probably still there. What if they're not still there? We do you cross really, a bridge. Do you really want to risk it? Oh. I'm not saying go back and look. I'm just saying we should probably still just watch our backs. Yeah. And our fronts and our sides. Okay. You watch the back. I'll watch the front. You watch the sides. All right. Jamila will look up. Okay. Jamila. That's probably the least uh, practical for a horse. <laughs> <laughs> and and is, is he going to tell us if he sees something? Well, yeah, but we won't understand it. Thank you! <laughs> Alright, so you continue moving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As you continue following the river and looking behind you, nobody seems to be following. Eventually, you see another stone bridge. Whew. I think we should avoid the bridges. Yeah, no bridges. I think we should just stick to the mountains. As you begin walking, you pass the bridge. It is unattended. And you continue moving towards the mountains. Mm -hmm. No, was, uh, okay. What if it's a trick? I couldn't see them anymore. What if they can turn invisible? That's a neat what if trick. they're watching us right now? They probably are. That's kind of creepy. She said the eyes of the lady in the shadow may, may she ever be watching you or whatever. Who's this lady in shadow? Nobody would mess with her. I don't know, oh. but I think we should just keep walking. Okay. It was one of those statements that was very, like, half nice, but half. It's warning. like. Good luck. Right? You. I know. That's exactly what it felt like. I'm saying nice words, but I don't mean nice mm -hmm. things when I yeah. say that. Hey, Dakar. Nice stuff. Wait, do you not like my staff? See? <laughs> Keep going, this is fun. <laughs> Why are you being so mean to me? I'm not. I'm just trying to show, I'm just trying to show you that. One nice more. words are not always nice. <laughs> One, One more, more. One just more. to make sure it's it's sinking in. Pe people are that mean? I can't think of another one. <laughs> <laughs> no, everybody loves you. Nice words are not always nice. Sometimes it's better to just avoid people. Good to know. Yeah. You travel on for a few more hours. You start to get into about two in the afternoon. It begins to get just a little weary from your travels. Are you pushing on? So, do you, well, do either of y'all know very much about the capital city? Mm -mm. Because Delphi mentioned, I guess, like, I guess according to this map, we could go up and around and in to get into the city if the Imperial Road was open. But what about this whole backside that we're going straight towards? Probably a wall. 
There's a wall in Call of Cash. We got around it. That's true. We did. I'm we had some... pretty sure that wall's a little bit bigger than what's in Call of Cash. But mm-hmm. you never know. Maybe if someone had some grappling hooks. What do you mean? Because you carry those around all the time. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> If are you pushing on or are you resting? Yeah, I'd say we're pushing on. We'll wait until night to rest. Okay. So I need everybody to roll a perception check. 26. Oh goodness, 13. 13? I'm... Okay. 14. No, 12. Is it a three or is it an eight? In your travels, after pushing right. off, there's a moment cue where you look behind you and you see for a moment something shimmer into view before immediately going back and not being invisible. There's something. Are they following us? I don't, I don't know what it is, but there's something. Something good? No. Oh. It's can never we, anything good. Can we pull? Can we pull some sort of trick? Like pretend like we're asleep and let it creep up on us and then jump out and grab it? Come on, Gollum. That's Thank you. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> the rope burns is us. <laughs> I mean, I have rope. <laughs> it's, it's not elven rope, but, but I have rope. Doing a pinch. <laughs> I like it. This seems like a nice place to stop. Gosh, I'm how, so tired. How how <laughs> how far away did you see something moving from us? Back. Um, like how long? Who's bit? gonna take uh, first watch while we sleep? Does anybody need to take first watch? I think yeah. Uh, I I need a rest like right now. I mean, I'd like to rest, too. Like, right now? Yeah. What about you, Dakar? Both of you roll a deception check. <laughs> or one of you can roll an advantage, Shell's choice. Uh, I'll roll an advantage. Okay. 22. How loudly are we talking? Okay. Dakar, are you pretty tired? You probably go to sleep, too. I mean, I... Guess I can. Yeah. And I'm gonna do a stretchy thing, and with my wand of magic detection, I'm gonna flick it in the direction where we're coming and cast detect magic. Dakar, you're so clumsy. Okay. As you flick the wand in that direction, there are three points that begin to light up, and I don't have my colors in front of me, but it would be uh, transmutation magic. As you see these images glowing. And all of a sudden you hear, fuck! And then the invisibility spell drains. Oh, hi! They're not, oh. Just, they're not as dumb as they look. What? Oh, what do you mean? Are you following us? We're here to collect our money. What money? The money you stole from the dwarf, bitch. Did I steal money? That's harsh. Language. Did I steal money? No, but the dwarf was supposed to bring us back things that he found from within the forest. He didn't return, so clearly he met his untimely demise since you found the cart, which means you also have the money and you have my dagger. Why did- I don't know what what you are talking about. What? All we wanted to do was sleep. We wanted to cross the bridge, didn't let us cross the bridge. We're tired. You could have given us the bag, which we'll now gladly take. No, it's ours. It was a gift, and we have to give it back. You can't have anything whenever you're not breathing. Well, I don't plan on not breathing. No one ever. <sighs> not on wood. On it. This is your last chance. <laughs> this is your last chance. Leave us alone. <laughs> Who do you think you are dealing with, dear? Who? I am Delphine Dupree. I'm sorry, I've never heard of you. You'll be the last name that you do here. Keldis! I'm gonna go first. Oh, shit. Alright. <laughs> <Well, laughs> <I'm initiative. laughs> Another ten. Oh! Me too! <laughs> Alright. So I help 
help you out that time. You three out. They are out as well. Six. Alright, so Delphine over here. Fig! <laughs> so you're gonna make the charge? Yeah. Alright, so you get your surprise. Go ahead and go for it. Are you hitting Delphine? Yeah. Okay. 24. 24 will definitely hit. To the, the armpit where the plate mail has <gasps> a gap, and he just stabs in, and you just hear Delphine shriek. Yep. I'm glad you saw fake. Because it's his turn. <laughs> As he jumps into the frame and comes running straight forward, mm -hmm. he's gonna flank, and he's going to make his attack against you at advantage. That is a 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yep. So he's going to get 1d6, 5, 6, 7, plus his sneak attack damage. Okay. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 points of piercing damage. Yeah. As he goes in and he short swords you, you use your uncanny dodge. Mm -hmm. Take that out of the way. And then he's going to use his cunning action to disengage okay. and pull back. Five. That is his turn. It's then going to be Delphine's turn. At which point she holds up her hand and uses her reaction. And you feel out of your side hilt. The dagger disappear, and it comes up to her hand, and she's now holding the serrated dagger, and she's gonna make a stab against you. Okay. That is gonna be a miss as she goes to swipe, and it doesn't hit. She's gonna make another one. That is gonna be a fourteen to hit. Nope. Swipes again, misses on that second one. That is her turn. It's gonna be the priest's turn. He's gonna run behind, puts his hand on her, and he's gonna cure her cure wounds at third level. Big stable pocket. All right, let's uh. Ooh, it's not the bad. So she's still up a little bit. That's gonna take us. Or he's gonna pull back a little bit. That takes us to Kelnis. Okay, I'm going to use my movement yes, to yeah. pull up to the gnome. I'm going to use my um, bonus action to go into a rage. Okay. And I'm going to um, see what kind of light you can do. Uh, did he save or fail? What's the save number again? 13. He saves. Okay. So, two. Okay. Um, and then I would like to swing at him with my battle axe. Eight. That's a miss. I'm going to try and swing again. Go over his head. Uh, 16. No hit. Okay. 14 damage. Alright. And I'm gonna say try to stay on my way, Q. Alright. Q. 
Uh, hearing that, Q is just kind of, kind of shimmy this way, but staying engaged. Okay. And is going to, um, hold on real quick. I'm just going to hit normal. That was so close. 17? 17 is exactly what you need to hit. Damage is down. Seven damage. Seven damage. Oh. And then gonna use my bonus action to disengage and move five, 10, 15, 20 back. Okay. This can taste of Dakar. I'm gonna move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And while I'm moving, just my eyes widen over and like sparks starting to come out. And I'm gonna do call lightning. I Thor. And I'm gonna bring <laughs> it down right here. Okay. So both of them need a dex 14 save. They both fail. Fuck them up. Do it. For Keldis. For Keldis! 12 damage. Damage is damage. And... That's it for this game. Okay. He's gonna take us back over to the small one as the gnome is going to spin around on you. Mm. And he's gonna make his two attacks against you. The first attack is a uh, 14. That's just what he did. That is, oh sorry, I'll do the wrong one. You can't hold that long for it. That is a four piercing damage, reduced to two. Hold on, that wasn't the right one. So five piercing damage, still reduced to two. Same thing. Makes a second attack. That is going to be a miss. He's going to use his cunning action to disengage, and he's going to move his tail. All right, Delphine's going to take her turn. At which point, she is going to chase after you. She's going to make her two attacks with the dagger. Third attack is going to be a twenty to hit. Yep. All right. Hold on while I get the dagger up. Okay, I need to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Eighteen. Alright, you take five piercing damage. Okay. You do succeed as the dagger comes out of your body. You feel those spines <laughs> catch out and then she ends up, you pull away and it rips out of your body oh. doing that extra damage. Make a second attack. That's going to be an 18. Damn it, yeah. Another constitution saving throw. 18 again! Woo! <laughs> Taking five damn piercing it. damage. Okay. As it slams against you, you feel a rip again. Alright, that's gonna be your turn. The priest! As Aurelia. Let's see if I this right. You see her swirl around this large ball of magic as it builds up and then she aims it and she just shoots it your way and you see this guiding bolt fly off and go towards the car. It's going to be a ranged spell attack. Range spell. It's going to be a 14 to hit. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. All right. So for... Put this right. Guiding bolt. 
That's 15 points of radiant damage. As it smacks into you, I need you to do a wisdom save. Twenty-three. All right. So you still have concentration on the the lightning, but the next attack made against you has advantage. And then the creature is going to move back here. That's his turn. That takes us back to Thomas. How far can I go this way? How far is your movement? Forty. But how far would that get me? 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30, 30, 30, 40, you can get there. Or probably still over here. So who are you trying to go to? I'm trying to go this way as far as I can. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20 30, 30, 30, 40. Okay. You can still get here if you want to get in range of that. Sure, let's do that. And I'm going to use my bonus action to hit her with the lightning. Okay. She fails. Four damage. And then I'm gonna try and hit her with my battle axe. Okay. Oh! Another, another one! one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready, let's do this. That's three! Is that three or four? Yeah. Four! Oh, I'm sorry. Four. Are, are you taking a block or thinking? Huh? Is it my fourth one? That's my fourth one. That's my fourth one? Because I took three, and then you did that one. Are you taking a shot or block this thing in the shot? Who's taking the shot? I'll share. Okay, we'll share. <laughs> right, there's, 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 there's Vic's little bit. Socially distant share. There's, there's Vasquez's little bit. But that's not even anything! I got it. He's also done three. I'm it's trying true. to be nice. Y'all should have chilled out in the 20s today. <laughs> today y'all came to play. Let's see. Hey, I turned my 20. 20. I turned my 20. Alright. Okay. Um... Ooh! It's not a one. Two. Four so you double two. that, you yes. double your two, right? Will she double her range damage? No, no. no you okay. only double the dice. The dice damage. 14 damage. 14? Yes. Okay. Um, and I would like to try and hit her with my battle axe again. You uh, <laughs> 13. 13 minutes. Okay. Alright, tell me. Alright, cute. Uh, Q's gonna, meh, 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 staying engaged, go okay. right there. Whoa. Uh, 27. 27, okay. Twenty. Ooh. Damage. Twenty damage. Mm -hmm. As you go and you make the hit, she catches, you hit off her, and she spins your blade and makes you send it behind you into Kelmus. So she's gonna take half of it, you're gonna take the other half. Okay. So ten, ten, reduce to five. That was a fancy move on That's her. That's her reaction. Wow. So angry that she did that, I'm gonna use my bonus action to use my dagger oh. with the other hand. Okay, go for it. This is the one that's uh, at disadvantage. Well, so it'd be regular. regular. Don't really add good. any modifier. 15? Yep. That is unfortunately okay. not enough to hit. And it's right. not an attack, so I can't say anything. How dare you make me bleed my friend's blood! <laughs> <laughs> Dakar. Oh. oh. I'm going to uh... Can I keep going? Yeah. There's not it's not the room right here, right? Okay. No. I'm gonna move I'm gonna move over here and I'm going to call down a lightning bolt on the priest priest dude who hit me with uh okay what's the range out of it the lightning bolt yeah it affects creatures how far away oh five feet away okay yeah so just the priest yeah okay he is gonna fail yeah or she is gonna fail nine nine still damage i mean mm -hmm. 
They're all looking pretty rough. And with my bonus action... I'm going to cast... Healy Word level 2. On Q. Don't you make her hurt, Countess! Six hit points. Thank you. You're welcome. And that's my turn. Okay. It's out of character for you, Euros. He's going to use his full helping. movement and his dash to catch up to you. And since you have it, he has advantage on his attack because he's got his bolt. And it's his first attack. That is going to be a 19 plus 4, 23. Mm -hmm. So he gets the sneak attack and the damage. So it's only three for the regular damage. Wait, why does he get sneak attack? Because it's at advantage. The guiding bolt. Oh, got it. And then another six for the sneak attack. So nine total? Mm -hmm. That's his first attack, second attack. That's gonna be a miss on those. At which point Delphine, breathing heavily, looks and she looks over you and she goes, take care of her dear. And she tries to jam the, da the dagger back into you. It's gonna be a 25 to hit. Yeah. Roll a con. Seven. All right, you fail. This time the dagger lands into you and it's stuck within your body. You feel this sudden pain wrap your body. And all of a sudden, all you want to do is fight your friends. As you are now turned to her side and you, you can roll each turn at the end of your turn to gain control, but the next turn has to be against Kelly or Dakar. Second attack, she comes back at you and she pulls out. Let me try the right thing right. Yep. And she pulls out of her sheath her short sword and goes to swat at your face. That's gonna be a miss against you. Okay. But she's gonna spin around. Oh god. I'm so sorry! <laughs> For the priest. Let's see if I can do this right. He's gonna do another cure wounds. So he's gonna run forward. Cure wounds. This will be the last third level slot. Alright. And that's gonna be his her turn. My turn. Come on. I'm staying engaged. I'm moving here. I'm using my bonus action to hit her. Okay. She's gonna fail. Three damage. For my first attack, I'm going to use my rough weapon to hit both of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Both your decks. Both your attacks. Both attacks. She's gonna. Yeah. Yeah. So she's gonna save. She's gonna fail. Why is it both my attacks? Because your action is One to action use... is to use your breath weapon. Oh, okay, you can't okay. breath and attack. Well, it's worth a shot. That's right. So you're going to get half damage, or no damage on her. No, half damage on her. Full damage on her. Right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, eight. Eight? Is it four? Alright, so four to Delphine. As Delphine jumps up away and the flame just catches Aurelia and her body melts away. Dash. Mm. Dang. Anything else you want to do? I want to use a little bit more of my movement to come this way. Okay. Okay. Q. So Q's just going to go straight. Yeah. Let me make sure I did this right. <laughs> 
They are compelled to attack any hostile creatures to the dagger's owner. So yes, so to your team. Okay. The creature is, you are aware that you're being controlled, and you can reroll your save to remove the dagger at the end of your turn. Okay. By removing it, you will take 2d10 poison damage. Mm. Okay. I don't know what's happening! <laughs> And it's a uh, 13? Nope. To hit. Woo! Wait a sec, cat. <laughs> That's... How much movement do you have? 30 feet. Mm-mm. Advantage. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're compelled to do the full okay. whatever you can do. Okay, it's not too bad. 10. 16. Okay, damage. Where do you stay? Ah! <laughs> Alright. Anything else? Um. Give you your bonus? I do. I do have my bonus. So attack her. Okay. <laughs> or disengage. At disadvantage. Except regular roll. Yeah. So seven. Sixteen. Oh no, seven. There it would go. be a seven. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's gonna take us to the car. Looking at, I think Marcus. Oh, do I get to roll? Yes. To try to get out of it. So roll your con. Fourteen. No, stays in. So looking at Marcus, I'm gonna be like, I'm up. Fry your ass. I'm gonna call lightning ball down behind um, Defina. Defina! <laughs> Defina! Why not? Delphine. Delphine. Why not? She fells. Oh! 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 18! 18. Lightning ball damage! Burn her! She is. Emperor Palpatine just like singed to a crisp in her armor, but just still standing and looking like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> you bid the card. <laughs> and with my bonus action, I'm gonna bomb a summer court myself. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you fool! All, yeah, all of them, yeah. Uh, 8, 12, 15, 16. And that's my turn. Okay. He's gonna take his retaliation against you. So his first attack with the short sword. It's gonna be a fail. Second attack. It's also gonna be a fail as he swings blindly with both of them, just feeling charred. Or not charred, but feeling tired. Mm -hmm. Delphine's turn. She's going to make her two attacks with her short sword against you. That armor's really conductive, bitch! That's a uh, 15 to hit. That'll hit. That is 6 reduced to 3. Second attack. That is going to hit as well. That is 4 reduced to 2. The priest is down. Uh, Countess, go ahead. Alright, I'm going to... <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Holding my forehead. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to use my uh, lighting on Delphine. Four. Is she? Does she? She does succeed. Okay. So two. Okay. And then I'm going to try and hit her with my battle axe. Oh, this may be hurt my friends. <laughs> 23. That'll hit. 11 damage. How do you want to do it? Oh! This is for you, Q! And I just want to swing that thing and cut this lady's head off so she doesn't get to talk anymore. You do a massive swing and Q fights that instinct to, to hit and ducks down as the battle axe swings over and then just decapitates the head as you see the black hair fly in the air and tumble to the ground. <gasps> Kill and the silver curious just falls to the ground and the body lands flat. Ew, gross! Does this solve the problem? 
Well, I, we don't yet. Well, no, because there's still one more. Um, but that's not the dagger's owner. No. Well, no. But I want that dagger. All right. Q. Q's a dagger's owner now. <laughs> okay, well, I'm assuming it still has me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to say, get this, get my weapons away from me. <laughs> 18. Yeah, that'll hit. Alright, this isn't Snake though, because she's dead. Yeah. Oof. 13 damage. 13 reduced to 6. Okay. Get it away from me! Bonus attack. 9. No. Okay. Right. That's gonna take us to the car. You're my bitch. I'm gonna call Lane Bull down behind. Who is this Dakar? Yeah, Zayce? what are these dreams oh. about? Seven damage. Alright, he's gonna use his evasion and take none. Cheater. And I'm gonna face step out of existence. And then right next to him. <laughs> Well, no, I'll go right there. 10 feet away. Okay. So, I need a DC 14. Is it wisdom? I forget which... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Wisdom. Okay. He fell. So, he is now charmed. For one minute. As he looks and he sees you completely disappear in your arboreal form, and then you appear again next to him. Hey, guy. And he kind of looks <laughs> over, and he just... You see, like, the... Hell does go to his eyes as he droops and just kind of looks at you. Hi. <laughs> and you're out of combat. Are we really though? She's not still trying to hit me? Oh no, she still is. So yeah, I guess we kind of are. <laughs> <laughs> Did you roll to get it out? No, I didn't. <gasps> 20. Not net. You can pull it out. Okay. okay. As you see her rich, wrench back and she rips it out, it's going to take 2d10. That's 12 poison damage. Okay. But you do pull out and you now are holding this dripping serrated dagger. <laughs> you wanted this? Oh yeah. <laughs> Quite the collection. Now we are out of combat. So this home slice. Hi. If you if you want. Hey, if he's. Can you tell him to like just go? No. Leave? Well, I was gonna say go. if Q wanted to chop his head off, that would be the time. Or That's Q. Yeah. No, you chopped off. Yeah. What's your name, Ted? I know, but the, I'm Q. She's Kelness. I'm the car. I'm Marcus. Hi, Hi Marcus. Marcus. Hi. Marcus, what's going on? Who, Why are who we decapitated all... her? I did. That's why I said that. You called her Q. Oh, oh my sorry. god, Tell we're me. talking. Marcus, why were yeah. you attacking us? Oh, we were just told that y'all had the money and we were gonna get it. Who and told you that? Delphine. And Delphine said you had her dagger, so we were gonna make sure that we got it. Who stabbed the dwarf? Oh, obviously Delphine. Delphine. It was Delphine. Why? Why? Because he's a stone forger. They have special things, and they know how to get special magic, so we knew he would bring us something nice. Is that why you came after me? Are you a stone forger? Well, Delphine says you're not. She says you killed the dwarf and took his armor. But Del- you saw Delphine kill him. Delphine didn't kill him, she just stabbed him. No, that killed him. No. The dagger just makes people do what Delphine wants. So what did the... How did he die? No, what did he, what did Delphine make him do with the dagger? Go into the woods. To do... To get the gold? To get anything. There are lots of things in the woods. But what of the dragons? What dragons? The dragon robots. <laughs> the mechanical dragons. Oh, his pets. Those were the dwarves. Yeah, they belong to the dwarf. Okay. Alright. I like you. I like you, Marcus. Thank you for your help. 
So who were you working with besides Delphine? Who does Delphine report to? Oh, <laughs> we're in the Conclave of Grins. What's that? The Conclave of Grins follows the little trickster. And what do y'all do? Whatever we want. Oh. Okay. What do you want to do next? I don't know what y'all want to do. Isn't that who jo- Johannes was? Fabian. Fabian was with? Do you know Fabian? You know Me Fabian. Too. I know Fabian. Is he a good person? Everybody's a good person. That's not true. Delphine's not a good person. I'm a good person. Delphine's a good person. She's been very nice to me. She wasn't nice to the dwarf. What are we doing? How long is your spot? One minute. I believe. see him slowly coming out of it. You're gonna go now. Bye, Marcus. Bye. He turns around and begins to walk. Which way are you sending him? Into the dead wood. So he goes south. So he is walking south. And a few seconds later, not even very far off, you see him start running south. That was very merciful of you, Q. Don't like. <laughs> I really don't like Got the killing <laughs> things that are not creatures. It doesn't feel right. I don't like it. <laughs> Unless they've done something really wrong. Gotcha. The mayor did something really wrong. Since then, we've killed those werewolf hyena things. We've killed like other random creatures we killed these people we killed these people and i don't feel great about it but also i started it and oh god i started it i no i did it i'm sorry i'm sorry it's okay i mean better you started than she started she was getting ready to start it maybe what if she didn't? I'm pretty sure she was about to start. I know, I know, I'm I'm pretty sure like she was also. That's why I started it. But also what if what if she wasn't going to? I think she, she really was, wanted her dagger back. So but what if she nice. was just gonna what if she was just bluffing? And I did this. But I did know, this. No 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 no. You saved us. No no no. You just poked first and then she lost her mind. That's true. She exploded. She poked first. She poked you in the back. You poked her in the armpit. I did. <laughs> the warning poke. Yeah! <laughs> she, kept, she kept going. Yeah. I used lightning again. You did. You did. Cool. You, you showed said me up. some bad words to call Yeah, you I did. I did? Yeah. Are you feeling okay? Like you got, like, heated. Are you a little feverish? I don't think so. Well, I'm feeling... Terrible. You should take a healing potion. Or rest? I mean, that works too. What time is it? Very the start of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a healing potion. You'll actually know because y'all left and it was about two when y'all went to the bridge. So you're hitting about four or five. Let's rest. Let's go to bed. <laughs> yeah. I'm. Did y'all make camp? I made the camp down again. You are somewhere north of the second bridge, but heading towards the southern wall of the Imperial City. You have to camp for yourself. Cool. Who's who's watching first? I'm resting first. first. You want me to take first watch? I do want to take a long rest at some point. Yeah, I take the first watch. Please and... figure out how that dagger works. I don't ever want... That was bad. It's very impressive. It's terrible. It's terrible. Terrible. So I'll take first watch, and while I'm, I want to pay attention to what's around me, but I also want to kind of inspect the knife again and see okay. how the spikes go out if they go in. You take your watch and you spend most of the time playing around with the dagger and just seeing, kind of feeling the balance, looking at the innate detail, and after a good thirty minutes of inspection. You do notice at the very bottom of the hilt, there is actually a small inscription. It's 
in a language you don't understand. But Can I press it? There's not a button. It's just writing. But you get the idea that you know that this dagger is something that when it penetrates a body, it has the potential to release some kind of toxin to control them. It's very poisonous. But you also saw that it was commanded from your body to the owner's body. So what you have is you have a magical dagger. It's called the Smile Carver. And I'll add it to your inventory. Uh, I don't like that. I don't oh. like that. I don't like the name of that. Okay. So actually, if you search your weapons and you put in Smile Carver, I've already added it. Okay. So you can add that to yours, and it has the description and everything that goes with it. Are in your sleep, you have a dream. In a dark, vast void, you awaken and look around you and you see your tree once again falling with burning ash as the leaves don't even make it to the ground before they burn away. You take a walk on that path that has always been glowing in light, and this time it is covered in soot. And as you kick through and scatter, and you see the dark, thick, musty air rise and fall, you begin to choke on its thick, kind of pungent smell. And as you travel, eventually you get to where you remember there being a curve. You begin to take the curve, but it gets dark. Then you see it ahead of you. A bird like creature. Like an overgrown raven or wren. You walk towards it and it walks towards you. You put your hand up to reach for it and it mirrors you with its hand at the exact same moment. And no matter what you do with your body, the bird like creature does the exact same thing in mirror image. You go to call out to it, to ask what it's doing here, and when you open your mouth, all you hear is the language of a bird. Meanwhile, the mirror image is also opening its mouth, and you hear the exact same language. You immediately look around you in fear, and next to you, off of the path, you see a small, darkened road that leads off of the main trail towards a large, large tree with a single door. And then you wake up. Did Kelna say anything crazy happened while I was asleep? No, no. We were asleep? She just she just asked me about my dream. Oh. Why? Did you, I don't know. Did you, did you say something? Or? Well, no, I just woke up. Oh. Like, was it like a normal wake up? Like, I just woke up? Or was it like, oh, I woke up? 
I mean, I wasn't watching myself wake up. Well, how did you feel when you woke up? Was your heart racing? Were it you was, sweating? It was, it was different. Different from? I guess like a calm wake up, like you were saying. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. You'd have to ask Caldas when, when she wakes up. Okay. I wasn't creepily watching me sleep. Oh, well, maybe you should. <laughs> oh, you can report back to us of all your, of all your sleeping activities. Don approaches and counts you do wake. <sighs> See, that's a normal wake up. I feel so much better. Why are we talking about waking up? Oh, I, we were talking about like waking up in a startle or waking up normally and why him? Normally? You had a dream. Well, I always dream, I said. I don't dream. You don't dream? No, not all the time. I black everything out. I will block everything out. <laughs> you drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where all that wine's been going? I don't want to know anything about my dreams. I mean, you said you had a dream. Well, okay. What'd you dream about? I said think about it, and you can tell both me and Kelvis. <laughs> me and you. <laughs> See, yeah. it's not that easy! <laughs> It, it was... It was... Unless you don't want to share. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I... I don't want to cry. I get it. No, no, I, I, I trust y'all. It was one of my normal dreams, but just a little different. I don't know. I'm still trying to just comprehend it. Sometimes talking about things we don't understand helps us understand them more. Like someone else might have an idea about. Oh. Maybe see something that you don't see. But but again, I mean, not I get it. You don't. Trust well, how us. would how would we talk about it? With words. Tell oh. Opening your mouth. And oh. First, you breathe in, and then as you're breathing out, um, you there's this thing in your throat that you push together and makes noise. And then you move your mouth in certain ways to create different sounds, and those sounds mean things. Q, you, you know, this whole, like, helping people, fighting thing doesn't work out. I feel like you could have a job as that. A dreamologist. Another life. A talk doer. <laughs> yeah. Talk, doer. Yeah. talk fixer. Talk fixer. Yeah. Talk fixer. Yeah. Word helper. I like that too. Talk helper. Talkologist. Talkologist. I like that. Another life. So what'd you what'd you see? If you want to tell us. It was it was like I said, it was a normal dream but just a little different. Like the path I usually walk on in my dreams was a little bit darker and my tree was, was burning. Oh. I feel like that could be bad. Tree shouldn't burn. No, yeah, tree shouldn't burn. Well, yeah, they should. Yeah, and also that one that we saw wasn't it like a reddish yeah. color? I remember that correctly. I'm very proud of myself. Yeah. Like out of game, I'm really proud. Of myself. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the tree you saw was there a mirror next to it? In your dream. The tree that we saw originally had a mirror next to it, and... I don't remember a mirror. Okay, well... Yeah. There was a door, but not a mirror. It could be the same thing. Oh. Yeah, the mirror was like a doorway to another thing. But... Huh. Hmm. What's this? What's this? <laughs> but the perfect model. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> And where was this tree at? It was at the, the monastery. Yeah, the monastery. Under the monastery. Yes. And that's like that's where we got your cure. Was we went down under the monastery, and there was this big demon creature thing. You saw a demon creature thing. A demon. Some big nasty thing. But the Krona tree was in the middle, and it was all like. It was poisoned and it had red and the roots were not normal. And then this creature was talking in the mirror, which turned out to be a doorway to the whole other place where we got your cure and there were all these rooms and... Yeah. I 
So I wonder if I should go there. Well, I think that, that, was, that wasn't like a. It was more of a retelling than an invitation. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm not saying go through the door. Oh. You know, if you went through the door in your dream, I would be very worried that you maybe wouldn't wake up. I don't think I went through the door in my dream. I feel okay. good about that. Just maybe stay with the door. Okay. All right. See? Talking about dreams. We had some help. Stay away from doors. No doors. No, no doors. At all? No. What if we have to go through? Doors and dreams. No okay. doors and dreams. Wow. Okay. In waking time, it's okay. Yeah. Let's see. Inspect it first. Make sure it doesn't belong to somebody else. Yeah. The door or the dream? The door. The door. Oh, okay. Can you go into other people's dreams? Well, I don't know. I've never tried. Tomorrow night. No, you can't you can't go in my dreams. Go in my dreams. I don't even know my dreams. I don't know. You all can't my know my dreams. Either. I'm just curious. No, let's let's just go. Let's just walk. Okay. Oh, okay. As you begin to pack up camp, you look over and you see the body of a priest and the body of Delphine, head lying feet away. Oops. And you begin to depart. To think I slept a baby. Frightness. <laughs> <laughs> Cradling the head. <laughs> that sounds just about right. Oh, can I can oh. I go pat down the priest before we leave? Absolutely. Do an investigation check. <laughs> Maximum effort! 13. 13. The priest has a small wand. Just a little small wooden, simple wand. Very common catalyst that people use for spellcasting. And then also is wearing an amulet. The amulet is silver in nature, silver in chain. And then it has a very small emblem that looks almost it looks almost as if there were uh, rising kind of seaweed pulling up from the bottom and the image of a floating body in the middle uh, you want it? I'm just deciding if I need to write it in the dream. Oh, yes, I'm mentioning for that. <laughs> I thought you were telling us, sorry. <laughs> Apart from that, nothing other than the robes in the pulley. Are the robes exterior? All robes are exterior. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything under the robes? If I take the robes, or like yes, anything. you did the investigation check, you're checking all of the body. To okay. See if they have no, no, I mean, I want to take the robe for extra insulation, possibly later, if it gets cold. Yeah, so then you take but I don't, leave that, I don't want to leave them naked. Well, you would leave them naked because you're wearing a robe. They're dead. That's what I'm saying. The, the damage robe, has been done. There's not clothes under the robe. That's what I was going to ask. Take the robe off and find out. I take the robe off. She is naked. The damage has been done to her. I didn't. No, sorry. But I figure we may need. More, more later. Smart. Should we kick some dirt over? Yeah. 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 Just cover it. <laughs> <laughs> Just start kicking dirt in her face. Give me uh, old, that'll do it. Give me a <laughs> Calacash <laughs> burial. <laughs> <laughs> kick some dirt over their body. Calacash 1 2 will definitely cover it. <laughs> so, yes, you kick some dirt on her. <laughs> She's still there. Naked for dignity and lying in the middle of the field. <laughs> so, are we ready to go? Yeah, I mean, I, I think so. And you begin to make your trek. You travel for a good three or four hours. When whoever's leaving, roll me a survival check. Oh. <laughs> you go the wrong way. You're following the river, so it's pretty easy. Eleven. You follow. And eventually, you start seeing the great wall of the Imperial City. 500 feet rising into the air, a solid, massive piece of the mountain that actually falls off the mountainside and then drifts in a large curve. You see the river flowing into it with large uh, metal gate 
that closes off entry from the river point, but you can tell that this river is part of the ecosystem of the city and flows through it. There is no way to cross the river. However, there is a large entrance carved into the side of the mountain with a grand staircase that leads up and you see countless groups of civilians and people selling goods on the outside steps. The gates are open and you can see within it, peering in, a sea of buildings stacked on top of each other. To navigate this would be a labyrinth in itself. But you stand before the great imperial city of Etorkesh. And that's where we're going to stop today. As you have made it to the capital city. Yeah!